I'd like to introduce Cindy Vigue from the uh, uh, division here in New Mexico, FHWA. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Kim. Um, and um, definitely thank you for the invitation to be here. And uh, uh, to echo what Rick was saying, welcome to Albuquerque in New Mexico. And I hope you're able to enjoy the city uh, while you're here and take advantage of a lot of what it has to offer. As the Federal Highway Division Administrator here for New Mexico, I want to invite all of you also to uh, reach out to our Federal Highway representatives who are here. Uh, I'd like to just recognize real quickly uh, one of my em employees here in the New Mexico Division, Luis Melgoza. He's my safety and pavement engineer. So if uh, many of you may know Luis already. Also, we have uh, Jason Dietz. Uh, back there with the uh, Resource Center, and I haven't seen Antonio yet. Uh, Antonio Nuevas? He's here somewhere. So he's with our headquarters office, so um, you have a moment in time, you know, reach out to them, and they'd love to talk with you about what, uh, what's hot in Federal Highways. Okay. Uh, just to bring up a couple of highlights, um, and I'm sure that many of you have heard about the bipartisan infrastructure law and the tremendous amount of funding that that's bringing to all of the states. And I uh, want to make sure that uh, everyone takes advantage of, uh, of those funds. So I know there's also a session later to, that's going to discuss that. But I do want to point out just a few, if uh, you'll bear with me. Let me talk about uh, just a few highlights from that. A couple of the grant opportunities that are available right now is the PROTECT program and that's promoting resilient operations for transformative, efficient, and cost-saving transportation. So what that does is um, it allows uh, both formula program funds to conduct resilience planning, strengthen and protect evacuation routes, and increase the re resilience of surface transportation infrastructure from, from any impacts, including sea level rise, flooding, wildfires, any extreme, um, weather events and other natural disasters. Uh, so there's some funding available there to keep our, um, our good roads in good condition. The other program that's active right now is the ATTAIN program. That's Advanced Transportation Technology and Innovation Program. And what that provides is grants to deploy, install, and operate uh, advanced technologies uh, to improve safety, mobility, and system performance. Some other hot topics also include FHWA's climate challenge. That's also grant funding that's available to reduce the life cycle emissions associated with design, construction, and maintenance. And uh, right now, I understand that, with, that there was uh, 40 submissions from 25 states, uh, and proposals were due um, August 1st. So we'll look to see who, um, who's going to benefit from those. Uh, next. Just want to highlight a little bit about the life cycle cost analysis PAVE software. Uh, FHWA launched a tool um, known as LCA PAVE that can be used to assess environmental impacts of pavement materials and design decisions and to evaluate differences in impacts between those alternatives. Uh, next is the carbon reduction program. Um, which will help uh, sustainable payment technologies and construction materials that uh, reduce uh, our carbon footprint. And um, just a couple of other little highlights. So those are some grant opportunities that help with, uh, with funding our much needed needs. As we know, we've got uh, more projects than we have funding, and here's some areas that you might be able to reach out. Also, uh, some Federal Highway updates. We're also in the process of uh, updating our 2016 guidance on highway preservation and maintenance. So we'll look uh, for that to be able to provide further guidance and in incorporating any, any changes resulting from, from Bill. Also, from the New Mexico side, we know that uh, many states have the pavement preservation agreements with some of the divisions. And we know with New Mexico's, we recently uh, updated our MOU early this year. And, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about uh, Everyday Counts and some of those efforts and uh, continuing to pr promote our targeted overlay payment solutions. That's our TOPS um, innovation. And um, 
which I know will be a big part of uh, what we talked about here this week, and that's with our overlays and um, continuing to promote all those various technologies that uh, many of these states have already uh, taken advantage of. So uh, with that, uh, giving you a couple of uh, highlights, and I know you'll hear more about this uh, throughout the week, but uh, definitely want to, uh, in closing, thank you for inviting us to be here and reach out to your friendly Fed. Uh, we're happy to answer any of your questions. So thank you. The preceding was produced by the National Center for Pavement Preservation. More information can be found on the web at pavementpreservation.org. Additional support provided by Michigan State University.